Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And to all of my returning OGs, what's up, y'all? So welcome to February 2020, yeah? A very, very happy birthday to all my Aquarians out there. And I also want to wish a happy birthday to the February Pisceans. We will be moving into your season next, yes? So um, with that said, I do want to mention, first of all, I want to say that this is the intro and you will find a, um, a timestamp pinned in the comments section that will get you straight to the reading. So if you're watching multiple readings and you don't want to listen to the intro over and over again, you can use that timestamp. I do recommend, however, that everybody listen to the intro at least once because there is some information that you may really need or may be privy to, may want to be privy to, that you would miss had you not listened to the intro. Yeah. So with this being Aquarius season, I do want to mention that the reading for Aquarius could very well be a collective energy, a collective reading. However, it is intended to be for those who are looking for guidance, guidance for the sign of Aquarius because we are in that season. I do feel like this could be a reading for you generally. So maybe you might want to watch that reading just to see how it applies to you and what it could mean for your life moving through Aquarius season, just like I did with Capricorn last month. Um, even though I did mention that maybe I wanted to do a separate reading so that your readings don't get hijacked with collective energy. Hi <laughs> um, it didn't necessarily happen that way this month. I'll see. Um, but if you guys if you guys find that you know you might want an actual reading please let me know for the month of, or for the season that we're moving in i would love to know i'd love to hear that from you yeah um okay so these these readings are general and they are timeless so because they're general readings um you know just take what resonates everything is not going to resonate for everyone and this may not even be the reason for you if if you're hearing listening to this and it's just not fitting it's not making sense then please don't try and fit anything into your life that doesn't belong there naturally okay and also keep in mind that this is a general reading i'm channeling for thousands of people so um you know not everything is going to necessarily resonate with you all the time okay so just keep that in mind also these readings are timeless so just because it is dated for the month of february and i'm channeling energies for the messages for the month of february for you it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you during the month of february this could be messages that come forward to you that spirit wants you to know at this time but it's not something that doesn't actually manifest or happen for some time down the road okay so just keep that in mind i am available for private readings all the information is found in the description box below this video um, you can also find me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. I'm also on Instagram at Divine underscore Conversations. I do welcome you to reach out to me there. However, if you are looking to book a personal reading, I do not recommend that you use Facebook. Um, I don't even really recommend that you use Instagram. However, Instagram is a more viable option. I am able to get to the messages more quickly, but my dm situation is just full of all kinds of messages so there's still a possibility that i might miss your inquiry and with that said even if you were to say to reach out on instagram for a personal reading i'm still going to defer you back to email so if you would like to get a personal reading with me check the description box below my email can be found there along with all of the readings that i offer their description and their prices and then email me directly. My email address is divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. But again, that can be found in the description box. Again, I am going to, even if you were to reach out on Instagram, I am still going to defer to your email address because I would at least need your email address to send you an invoice for the reading. So you're better off just skipping a step and emailing me, emailing me directly and I'll get you set up for a personal reading. Yeah? Cool. So the Oracle deck that we're using for this month is the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I really, really enjoyed using this this um, this deck this month. Um, it was a deck that was provided by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending this in. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are interested in donating Oracle decks or Tarot decks that you would like to see used on the channel, I do have a PO box that the information for that can be found in the description box as well. Um, if you are going to send a tarot or oracle deck, you might just want to email me really quick and really and check in to see if I have that deck yet, um, so that you know we're not you're not kind of wasting money sending a repeat deck. Okay, um, but the one thing I want to say about this deck is that 
uh, of this Oracle deck is that the author speaks in first person kind of often. So just keep that in mind when I'm saying, when I'm reading through the, the, the definition on the, in the book and I'm speaking, I'm saying things like I, it's coming from the perspective of the author herself. Okay. It's not me speaking personally. It's the author and her narrative. It's sometimes it's in the first person, but it's great. I mean, it still worked really well. The messages were beautiful for that. So I'm excited to, for you to guys, for you guys to see them. And for those of you that are new to the channel and are wondering, I'm not the type of reader that's looking into the situation to be nosy. My intention with these readings here is to bring forward the best messages for you that you need to hear at this time so that you can make a better decision for your life moving forward so that you can have a greater opportunity to be more discerning for your life and for the where you want to go and potentially what could be coming on down the pipeline for you. If at any moment you find that the, something is resonating with you and you don't quite like the way that sounds, you don't want to continue manifesting with that or manifesting that, you have the opportunity to change that manifestation by changing your thought process, then changing your beliefs and changing your alignment to the situation, okay? So just keep in mind, for those of you that are here trying to snoop, trying to get into people's minds, thinking that I'm trying to get into somebody's head, I'm not your guy, all right? There are plenty of people that are out here that may be doing that, but I'm not here for that. Also understand that I do not base my channelings on love specifically. If love comes out, then love comes out. I am not resistant to that. However, if you're looking for specific love readings, then this is probably not the, the channel for you. I do have moments where I will do uh, you know, a love live session here or there, but ultimately the focus of my channel or the focus of Divine Conversation is to bring you greater guidance and understanding about, well, to bring you greater guidance, of, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> to bring you greater understanding about what is going on in your life, the energies that are surrounding you, and then bringing you guidance in, in terms of handling those energies and making the best decisions for yourselves. Yes? Okay, I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Mwah. Hello there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for February 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, just a little bit of the disclaimer before I really get started. I'm not sure if you can hear, but there, the construction across the street from me is in full swing. Um, for those of you that are that are like new to my channel or you don't already know, they are building a new building, a brand new building across the street from me. I live on the street side, and so not only do I get the noise from the street here in busy old Brooklyn, but I also get the noise from the construction. And they are pouring more cement for the for the building, so that tends to be pretty loud. So if you're hearing that, that's what's going on. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about it, so we're just going to power on through, yeah? So getting into your overall energies, Virgo, um, you have the Six of Swords here. And the, initially what I heard with that was leaving the past behind. That was the, the, exactly what I heard. And you know what, to, make, to, to be honest, with what has been coming up for you guys lately, um, and like at least from, through, from my channel, and like the channelings I'm doing for you, um, and like uh, others, you know, there are, there are some others that have really been channeling a lot of uh, pretty negative energy or rough situations for Virgos over the last few months. I know I have. I think it's been going strong since like August or something of last year of 2019. But um, this really kind of falls right in line with, you know, what I've been channeling for you guys and what others may have been channeling for you. Now, with this Six of Swords here, this energy of leaving the past behind, moving from rough waters to calmer waters, you do have an overall energy of the Nine of Wands, okay? And so what I'm kind of getting from this is like, you might still be kind of looking over your shoulder, just like this guy is in the card, um, but you're battered and bruised and you're really just, you're persevering, you know, you're trying to, to to keep moving um some of you might be moving forward quite reluctantly that is kind of an energy that i'm feeling here for you others of you this is just like i just want to get this over with or i just want to get out of this energy or i just want to move on to something new something better i can't wait for my better to come that's something that i'm hearing there for you but also you're it's like you're 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 intentionally moving forward here okay 
Um, now, yes, there is a current of energy that's moving you, but it's like you, you, I really feel like at least maybe for some of you, there might be some reluctance for some of you, but for others of you, it's like you're really flowing with the current. You might even be wanting to move faster than, you know, is really possible or is necessary or maybe even is than is healthy right now. But um, I just heard take that with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, I don't know, take it as it resonates. <laughs> um, sorry, I just laughed because I saw something that's personal to me here in the numbers, the six and the nine. Anyway, so, okay, cool. All right, Virgo, so that's, I mean, that's a good way to start, you know, this reading or these energies for you. So we'll see what else we've got here. Yeah, let me give this a shuffle. And then we'll get, oh, look, the sun with the seven of cups. Okay, the sun with the seven of cups. All right, so you, you might be really getting some clarity on something that might have been some confusion that might have held you back in the past. That's a excellent thing there, Virgo. Let's see what else we have for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February 2020. Thank you so much for, uh, well, <laughs> I was going to say thank you so much, Virgo, but thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, and then we'll see what we've got for you. One. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try that again. One. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of February 2020. Two. Three. February 2020. Four. And last one, Virgo. Five. All righty. Let's see what we've got here. Boop. Overall energy for you, Virgo. The Nine of Cups. Satisfaction, okay? And for some of you, this is satisfaction um, that you may have been seeking or wanting or looking for or working towards for a very long time time this nine of cups just feels very relieving it's all I'm, I'm hearing something like the pressure is off of you now um maybe just the situation things aren't as heavy as they used to be um the payoff or the the, the result that maybe that you were looking for there really is a very much like a deep exhale here that i'm kind of perceiving with this nine of cups energy for you I'm hearing something. I also heard, I just heard, I'm finally free. Okay. Underneath the Nine of Cups is the Ace of Pentacles. There you go. So, okay, this is a brand new start. Um, this is definitely a victory. This is a new life for yourself. For yourself, You could be, like, seriously starting over in your life in some way, which is really beneficial for you. Um, this could be a new offer. This is a new seed having been planted. This could be an energy of, and, and this doesn't necessarily have to mean like physically, a physical seed, but this is like, you know, metaphorically, a new seed or a seed being planted that's gonna lead to a brand new life. This might, and what I'm kind of feeling here for some of you is that you are finally are at the, are in the position or are able to really plant this seed. This also could be an offer an offer of love, an offer of commitment. This could be a new job, a new living situation, a new physical circumstance, a new career path, something like that. Underneath the Ace of Pentacles is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this really could, this Ace of Pentacles could really be an offer of love here, an offer of commitment, someone expressing themselves, someone wanting to start over, potentially, if that resonates with you underneath but also again this doesn't necessarily just have to be romance or, or romantic in nature this could be something that your heart is leading you towards i definitely see the knight of cups as an energy of moving forward with your heart's desire in a very innocent way maybe even in a chivalrous way all right and underneath the knight of cups oof, is the four of pentacles okay the, the the four of pentacles can be one of two things 
or it could be both depending on your situation i don't know this is a general reading so take it as it resonates the first thing that i got with the four of pentacles is that there is a release happening or there is a release of something or the other thing that i'm getting which is kind of close a close second to that release energy is a holding on to a solid foundation or at least having a solid foundation Now, especially if there's some sort of offer of love that's most that's meant to be or is intended to be coming through here, you are in a grounded, stable, solid position to make this offer, whether that be just internally in like your belief of yourself, but also I'm, I'm picking up specifically that this actually for some of you is you having the finances that you want or that you've been seeking, you have some sort of physical energy you have something you have some sort of physical grounding or or or, or uh, foundation or something maybe it's a house a job a financial reality or something like that that is allowing you to now make an extend an offer to someone and say okay now let me share with you or now let me extend this offer to you something like that I'm not really getting a hoarding energy. If anything, from this Four of Pentacles, if anything, I'm getting an energy of letting something go, if necessary. But the most, the strongest message that I'm getting with the Four of Pentacles for you, Virgo, is just a strong foundation. Safety, also. This could be a really strong family life or a really strong home environment, really safe home environment, especially if you're moving. Like say if you're, you're, you're changing your location, you're moving from a really rough situation and you're going into something new. I feel like whatever it is you're moving into would be really stable, really grounded, really healthy for you, especially if you're looking to start building your life, like rebuilding your life. Re, right. If you're looking to start uh, rebuilding your life or whatnot. All right, Virgo, this is really nice. This is really nice so far. So let's get into the rest of your reading here. We have first half, second half. Um, you could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it however it resonates, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. In the first half of your reading, you've got ooh, the star. Oh, honey, <laughs> this is wonderful. The star is ultimate wish fulfillment the star is also giving me an energy an energy of destiny okay so um whatever it is that you've been through in the past that has led you up to this moment is exactly where you needed to be okay a wish is coming true an offer is being made an opportunity is being taken or at least an opportunity to take some action to make some sort of move is being presented to you you are in direct alignment with it everything happens for a reason i do not believe in coincidences me personally okay so and that's kind of the energy that the star is giving me here but you have two energies you have both energies actually both energies that uh, are both cards that represent wish fulfillment and dreams coming true you started with the nine of cups but now in your surrounding energies here you have the star okay so the star is giving me that feeling of um something destined something faded and you may not see it coming you may not understand how it happens you may not understand why it happens but ultimately it's meant to be there this is, these are things i'm hearing it's meant to be there there's a purpose for it there was always been a purpose for everything okay always been that way the star is coupled with death transformation so okay so um what's going on here is either you're in a you you you've gone through some sort of transformation virgo that is allowing you to align with a greater destiny and some sort of wish fulfillment or um it could be the exact opposite you know you're aligning it could be you know you have you're being mm, forced or should, maybe i can say also pushed through some sort of transformation maybe even against your 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 egoic will right um it's not against your higher will because your higher will or the will of your higher self is absolutely the, the what is driving the ship here but it damn well may have absolutely gone against your ego and your and what your ego wants and what your ego thinks is right and whatnot whatever um so this could be uh, like an ego death or an ego dissolution or an ego transformation um but ultimately 
if you are going through a, a rough period or you like right now or you have been going through a rough period lately it's ultimately in service of your highest good and the strong a really strong message that's coming through with the coupling of these two cards is the fact that your transformation is 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 bringing you wish fulfillment is bringing you an alignment with destiny is bringing you a brand new opportunity a faded event as something some sort of destined circumstance okay i love it virgo second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here you have the two of swords you might be really indecisive about this right now there could be some sort of there could be some sort of denial um however I'm also kind of getting an energy of keeping a sort of mental balance because I'm being drawn to the, the blindfold that this woman is wearing here, okay? And that's reminding me, taking me back to this star energy because the thing about the star is it, in, in the tarot, it comes after the tower, which is a sudden event that changes everything, okay? And after that, things kind of go dark and you're, you're kind of just like, first of all, you're... A, in an energy of needing to allow the dust to settle but you know everything that you known is completely changed and now you're kind of left in the dark except for this one speck of light that is represented by the dark by, by the star okay and that speck of light is leading you somewhere you don't know exactly where it's going maybe you have an idea of where you where you need to be going or where it's going to lead you but you damn sure don't know how you're going to get there you don't know how it's going to work out you don't know how long it's going to take you to get there however you're doing it anyway you're following that star anyway because it feels right okay and so here with the two of swords this is giving me an energy of needing to keep some sort of mental balance even though you can't exactly see where it is you're going right now or you don't see the full picture that is a very strong element to your energy right now virgo there's there's this there's this need to understand why something is happening the way it's happening or why something happened the way it did and it's like and what i'm hearing is you don't need to really know that right now you don't really need to understand that right now all you really need to to focus on is what is in front of you focus on what's on your plate right now and keep your mind centered and balanced and healthy so that you can uh take this head on so that you can do this well okay two of swords is coupled with there you are virgo the hermit so two of swords coupled with the hermit here there's a need to keep some sort of mental balance so that you can continue to follow the light or the direction within yourself i'm kind of feeling like you really need to work on taming your ego or keeping your mind still or as still as possible so that you can continue to hear the guidance that's coming from within you okay either that's your advice for right now or that's what you're actively doing okay so your challenge here in the first half of your reading here virgo you've got the eight of wands so things might be moving pretty quickly but also the challenge here might really be communicating something you may have trouble with or may have had trouble with in the past also taking it back to what i was picking up on earlier in the pre-shuffle energy your challenge here might be not moving too quickly wanting to move quickly wishing you could move quicker or or, or whatever but not being able to at this time there also could be an energy of waiting for the right moment to strike here okay that's a little that's a little bit of a subtle element here but all right yeah communication also is the strongest is the strongest thing that strongest challenge it could be communicating some sort of truth eight of wands is coupled with ha <laughs> the eight of swords yeah all right so looky here guys either you really want to move real quick and you feel like you can't or you really want to communicate or you know you really need to communicate and again you feel like you can't but here's the thing about the eight of swords virgo this mental entrapment is i guess i'll say of your own doing maybe not necessarily of your own doing but the fact that you're still in this or that you that you find yourself to be trapped at all 
is your own doing in the sense that you have the ability to cut your just cut yourself out you just have to you just have to do so just choose to to not be ooh okay just choose to not force yourself to be burdened by this anymore or held down held back in some way any longer now some of you are in terms of your challenge being communication some of you are having trouble with that because of your own mm, i've i missed what I, I lost what i was going to say now in terms of that but uh, your own fears around it um maybe you've had trouble communicating effectively in the past like you've tried communicating in the past and it didn't really work too well for you it, maybe it blew up in your face or something like that and now your challenge here is to remove yourself from that mind space in which uh, that mental space even in which you feel like you're not an effective communicator you feel like you can't speak your truth and you feel like you can't open up but you can you absolutely can but you have to choose to see it differently. You have to literally choose to take this blindfold off and say, no, I can perceive this in a better way or I can find a way to do this better. Your closing message or potential outcome, Virgo, in the first half of your reading, you have, ah, the two of wands. You gotta make a choice. But I kind of feel like the choice has been made already. And if it hasn't been made already, you know what it is that you want. Ultimately, you know what it is you're going to choose. I don't really feel like this is a really, a really strong toss up. Like it could go either way. I kind of feel like either you know which direction you want to go in or you know which direction you need to go in. And so now it's just a matter of choosing to do so, like going in that direction and taking the action. Two of Wands is coupled with Temperance patience okay so some of you maybe i'm hearing a cross watcher okay but someone it, it, like if you're connected with someone excuse me or connected to someone and this is resonating for your connection but this isn't necessarily your energy so so to speak you may really need to have patience with another with this other person okay also also, what I'm getting with this is for those of you that may have already chosen a direction or know which direction you need to go in, there is a little, you have to be a little more patient with yourself right now before you, before you can really take the action. So, okay, this is going back to somebody that, you know, really wants, sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to focus here, but someone that really wants to move forward like right now, might feeling a little bit hasty, might feeling be feeling a little anxious about the fact that, you know, they can't, they know which direction that they want to go in, but they can't really take action on that just yet. You got to be a little more patient because there are still some things that are aligning in this process. I'm getting the energies of alchemy with the temperance here. So, and I'm feeling like some things are still kind of being ironed out or some things are still kind of coming together. You got, you got to just trust the process, okay? This is really good, Virgo. This is very, very good. Especially with all the heavy energies that's been coming out for the last few months for you. I really like it's like I really like to see this for you. It's like a break. You're finally getting that break that you so desperately need or deserve. Excellent. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. We have the moon. Intuition. Intuitive guidance. Fear of the unknown is what I just heard. You really have to trust your intuition here, Virgo. And Virgos are very strongly intuitive. So definitely keep your mind as clear as possible so that you can continue to hear the guidance that you're being given from your higher self, from the universe, from God's source, creator, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, whomever, okay? Yes, but there's definitely fear of the unknown here. And you're needing to trust your intuition. Because that's going to really get you through this. The moon is coupled with the eight of pentacles. Keep working. Keep working at this. Keep plugging along. Stay consistent. Again, 
you're needing to trust your intuition here in terms of action steps that you need to take moving forward. And for some of you, you there's an energy of you feel or, or, or you're doing the work, you're, and you're, you're staying consistent and you're doing whatever it is you need to do, but at the same time, you may not necessarily be receiving the payoff that you hoped for or that you wanted. You may not necessarily really be able to see the fruits of your labor just yet, but they're coming. Your universe isn't going to have you working towards something for absolutely nothing, okay? But also, the strongest message that I'm getting with this, the moon and the eight of pentacles, is you have got to trust your intuition in terms of what action steps to need to, you need to take moving forward. That is the best guidance for you right now. Not really any sort of external guidance. I mean, you can bounce some ideas off of people here and there, but what's really most important for you right now, Virgo, is to trust your intuition. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the second half of your reading, you have the Three of Pentacles. Working together, teamwork, but this is also an energy of self-mastery. This really is also the energy of building, working towards building that foundation that you have either coming, I guess, coming to you with this Four of Pentacles. That's the last card of your overall energy. And for some of you, I really feel like you have been working on this quite diligently for some time. For others of you, this is something that you're starting. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Wands. Interesting. Your boundaries are going to be very important right now, Virgo. I really kind of feel like if you need to kind of isolate yourself from some people right now or just hold a firm boundary from, from, from some people or certain circumstances, situations, I even want to say institutions, uh, follow your heart on that one. But I'm getting an energy of needing to needing to really, I guess, go this alone in order to really work on your self-mastery. I really don't feel like this is something that can really be aided or helped or approached from anything in the external. You, This is really an energy of you, need to, you needing to really keep to yourself to a certain extent so that you can continue to work on mastering yourself and work on building this foundation for yourself. Now, that doesn't mean that you're isolating yourself completely. That doesn't mean that you're not, you know, spending time with your friends or still reaching out to certain people. But as far as your self-mastery goes, this is, this is an individual process. This is an internal process. And you really need to hold strong boundaries in order to ensure that this process of, of building a new foundation or rebuilding yourself goes smoothly and is effective, okay? your challenge in the second half of your reading here virgo four of cups a missed opportunity boredom overcoming the the the, the struggles of a missed opportunity in the past being willing to take the help and the guidance that the universe brings to you also I'm getting a very self-defeating energy from this Four of Cups. It's like the universe may be trying to help you. And I, I almost kind of get an energy of like this person is just moping around saying, what's the point? What's the use? It's not going to work anyway. This person doesn't actually love me. These are things that I'm hearing. Mm, but that's not quite true. Don't allow yourself to miss an opportunity just because you're in a de you're in a sense of a state of depression or apathy. Now I'm also getting an energy of a past of the past here for you with this four of cups. Whereas in the past you missed out and missed an opportunity, or in the past you were rejected by someone, or you rejected them, or whatnot, whatever. And now it's coming back around. It's coming full circle, or at least the situation is coming full circle, or is coming back around and. You're challenged with not missing this opportunity again. Four of Cups is coupled with, ah, yes, judgment, rising to the occasion. For some of you, yeah, there is something that's coming back around in your life, in, in you know, and 
you're being called towards it and yet there's this sense of like oh god i don't know i don't know should i take this offer do i really want this or not even though but see that's your ego speaking because ultimately the the universe or your higher self is calling you in this direction and all the work that you've been doing is aligning you with this and yet for some reason you your fear i'm hearing fear apathy your ego might probably be getting in the way and telling you that you're not good enough telling you that this isn't going to work telling you that this and that whatnot whatever but no trust your intuition closing message or potential outcome here virgo in the second half of your reading you have <laughs> Ooh, the knight of swords okay so moving quickly there could be some really strong communication here this feels kind of aggressive i just heard aggressively asserting yourself but it's necessary in some way shape or form interesting knight of swords is coupled with oh damn the queen of swords yikes interesting This really could be aggressively, like pretty aggressively asserting yourself here. This could be the energy that really cuts you free from whatever it is. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. The energy that cuts you out of this mental prison that allows you to communicate. The, the energy that really cuts you free or sets you free from whatever it is you've been holding on to or whatever it has been holding you. And allows you to move into that Six of Swords energy here. Wow. Okay, I mean, I would, I would caution you a little bit. I mean, this energy is a little, is quite intense and quite aggressive. But if you really need to do that at some point, then again, by all means, go ahead and again follow your intuition here. Okay. Okay, let's get your oracle guidance here for the month of February, twenty twenty for you, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Last shuffle from a Virgos. All right, Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. For February 2020, what do we got from a Virgos here? For my Virgos. For my Virgos. There it is, right there. Card number 29, which does boil down to an 11. And you have the Wolf Moon Hunger. Ooh. Okay. Let us see here. And I just I just flipped to pay to card twenty nine, uh, card eleven here. That's funny. Okay. Here we go. Hunger. Feed the good and hope within you. There will always be a lean part of the cycle. Prosperity will come. Do not let your hunger blindly dictate your actions entirely. The quote here is, I recognize all that I hunger for. An old and wise Cherokee of the First Nations of the United States is speaking to his grandson about life. The young boy asks his grandfather, is it said, or it is said, grandfather, that everyone has two wolves within them. The first wolf gives darkness, despair, and hate, and jealousy, and sorrow. The second wolf gives light and hope and hopefulness, I'm sorry, and helpfulness and kindness. Yet, grandfather, I feel them fighting within me. What can I do? My small son, these two wolves will always fight and they will fight within each person. You are no different, said the grandfather. But, said the boy, grandfather, which wolf will win? The grandfather answers, whichever wolf you feed. We must be careful about what we nourish and feed within us. If we give abundance to the aspects of the self that can harm others and ourselves, then we cannot truly thrive. 
having no limitations upon these behaviors and patterns hurts us and starves the higher and finer parts of ourselves that will bring us more happiness. To ripple that happiness to others is part of why we are on the planet as humans. We must also recognize that in life, just because it is a cycle, there will always be leaner, less abundant, or less bright times. Yet we have built our resilience and self-trust for times like this, and we know we are both loved and protected. The cycle will soon turn to less shadowy and more bounty. And the companion stone or metal for this card is Amazonite. So if you want to get some Amazonite to help you work through these energies, I highly encourage you to do so. But with that said, Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of March. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!